Hello and welcome back to Volatility 411. I'm Kevin Davitt, part of SIBO's Options Institute, and it's Tuesday, June 29th. Now with a little more than one session remaining in Q2, it's a good time to look back. It's been another strong quarter for U.S. equity markets. So for example, the NASDAQ 100 is higher by 12% since the end of March. And over the same time frame, the S&P 500 is up 8.2%. Russell 2000 has gained 7.8%. The Dow lags, but it's still positive by 3.8% for the quarter. Now the VIX index closed at 1940 at the end of March, and it's ranged between 2759 and 1562 on a closing basis during Q2. And we're just above the low end of that range right now with a VIX index measuring 1580. The S&P 500 made new highs again this morning and crossed the 4300 level for the first time ever. The one month at the money SPX options are trading on an implied vol just below 11%. Now, if we look back, realized S&P 500 volatility over the past month is 8.5%. Shifting our attention to the VIX curve, it's in contango with the July-August future spread trading at $1.75. Now, for whatever it's worth, back in February of 2020 with the S&P 500 at new highs, the VIX futures with about a month until expiration were trading at 1540 the standard July contract has 22 days until expiration, and it's now trading at 1770 so it's possible that the new normal for forward vol measures remains higher as the global economy normalizes despite fairly low realized vol readings. Now, speaking of the standard July VIX, the 30 strike calls are trading actively with about 13,000 on the tape, mostly printing around a plain 46 cents. So as Q2 moves toward a close, equity markets continue to grind higher with the VIX index at the low end of its post-pandemic range. That's Volatility 411. Thank you very much for tuning in.